I'm Alia. So in today's video we are going to talk about vikanje and tikanje. So what this means is just addressing people in either a polite way, so informal way, or in informal way, so for friends, family and so on. Okay, so if I say kako si or kako ste, both mean how are you in English. But when I'm saying kako si, so kako si ti, I'm just not using this personal pronoun ti here, so how are you? I can be talking to either someone that's younger than me or my friends or family or just someone that I know and that we agree that we are going to use the T form when addressing each other so it's kind of the friendly version let's say okay and if I say kako ste it's about showing respect so it's someone that you don't know elders I use this for my aunts let's say who are older or if you are in a cafe so addressing the waiter or maybe you went shopping so the shopping assistant your boss colleagues and so on when you want to show respect you use this te form so kako ste vi okay but vi is also used as a personal pronoun for a group of people so at least three people and at least one person from these three people or plus has to be a guy okay otherwise if it's just girls it would be vi okay just remember this so at least one guy, uh, so I call it mixed, okay? <laughs> so, vi, and it's viste, you are. And now, pay attention to the verb here, right? So if I say tisi, you are, viste, again, you are, or if I say kai želiš, what do you wish for? Kai želite. So as you can see, when I am addressing someone, doesn't really matter if I'm using the formal or informal way of addressing, the verb is the important thing here, so how it switches. So if I want to ask you, let's say, oh, have you seen the movie about Slovenia? I'm just trying to make conversation, right? If I'm saying ti, so informal way, I would say ali si video, right? Or videla, filamo sloveni. But if I'm trying to be polite, right? So I'm showing respect, I would say ali ste videli, right? So ste videli. Film o Sloveni, so the movie about Slovenia. So when the verb is about the person you are addressing, so then you use either this T or V form. But then what if I say, whose bag is this? So in Slovenian this would be Čigava turba je to, right? And then if I ask, ali je to tvoja turba? Is this your bag? I'm let's say talking to my nephew, so someone that's younger. But if I want to show respect, let's say I'm on a bus and I see someone left and I think it's their bag, I would say, Ali je to vaša torba? So is this your bag? So when saying whose, so čigava, then it would be tvoja or vaša. And then the third example which we are going to cover today is with the case. So the cases for T and V. So if the first example that we did was about the verb, right? What about now if I say, can I go with you? And now depending if I'm saying this to someone that's younger or someone that I'm showing respect to, right? I would say, ali grem lahko? And then how would we fit this in? So with you. Okay, it doesn't matter now if I'm saying formal or informal. So here is where the cases come in. So as you know, in Slovenian we have six cases and I will just quickly go through them. Okay, so only for the forms, so the personal pronouns for T and V. So the first case is, I know this is the most exciting part, <laughs> it's like, don't fall asleep on me, okay? TC, you are, so kdo ali kaj je, TC. Second case, koga ali česa ni, or what is that? Tebe ni, okay? So the third case, tebi dam, I give to you, so let's say tebi dam darilo, I give a gift to you. But here it's dam darilo, it's not dash darilo, because I'm saying I'm giving the gift, right? So this is why the cases are important. Okay, then the fourth one is koga ali kaj vidim, who or what do I see? I can say tebe vidim, okay? O kom ali o čem govorim, so the fifth case, o tebi govorim, and the sixth case, s tabo grim, let's say, so I go with you, or I'm going with you. And then for vi, so vikanje, the formal way of addressing people, it would be vi ste, you are, vas ni, you are not, vas ni doma, you are not at home, vam dam knjigo, I give a book to you, koga li kaj vidim, vas vidim, vas vidim u kinu, I see you in the movies, o kom ali o čem govorim, o vas govorim, I'm talking about you, and the sixth case, sa koma li sa čem grem, grem z vami, right? And now let's get back to the original question, right? So if I say, can I go with you? 
ali grem lahko. So which case would it be? The sixth case, right? With and then for informal way, s tabo. Or if it's the formal way, it would be za vami. Okay. All right, so this was hopefully a quick enough video about how to address someone or how to form sentences when addressing people in informal and in formal way. Okay, so thank you so much again to Andrew for requesting this video and I will again post on Instagram if you guys want to see any other video and make sure that there you comment and I will do my best to record a video about the topic that you wish and until next time, ciao ciao!